We created this program, Modern Energy Cooking Services. Uh, it's very much built on trying to do something other than business as usual, trying actually to change the narrative, to get people to think about cooking in a different way. You often have cooking over here, um, in the cooking sector, the biomass people, and you have uh, energy access and rural e electrification over here. Um, and we wanted to try and bring those two stories together so that um, the investment that goes into electricity access could be used to get modern energy cooking for, for households. We're looking to uh, help people to transition to using electricity or gas for their cooking. This could be in urban Nairobi, in peri-urban areas around the edges of Nairobi. It could be in other cities across the country or indeed into rural areas as well. Um, obviously the most important thing is that we find ways of making gas and electricity affordable to people within all of those different communities. We used to think that it was very expensive to use electricity and most of the gadgets we had actually packed and said electricity in Kenya is very expensive. But uh, having been involved in the study, I have come to a conclusion that uh, electricity is the most convenient to use and it is cheaper compared, as you, you realize from our he cookbook, it is, it is practical and it is money saving, it is time saving and it is enjoyable. Yeah, it's, it's very clean and, and people can use it with the confidence. There will be no, the cost will be there but compared it's almost half. Because like uh, cooking githeri uh, in the pressure cooker, it uh, took me less than an hour. When using firewood and uh, charcoal would have otherwise used like three hours to put the food on the table. So I would say that use of electricity is far much better compared to the use of charcoal, firewood and even uh, LG, the gas. We studied 20 households in four high impact countries, uh, Myanmar, Tanzania, Zambia and of course Kenya. Kenya in fact came top of our global study for where we think the solar electric cooking concept can have the, the biggest impact. We picked four cooks in Kenya to feature in the e-cookbook. We picked those four cooks because they cooked on a, a range of different fuels, charcoal, kerosene, uh, LPG and electricity and because they were from different groups, different ethnic groups and different ages as well different income levels, different levels of education. I measured when I made the oxtail, it took me one hour or slightly less, some, something like that, and I only used 0 0.6 um, kilowatts, so for me that was a uh, yeah, yeah, so. Initially I thought uh, using biomass was cheaper, but from this conference I've learned that you save a lot when you use electric powered appliances, and you save a lot compared to someone who is using biomass fuels. And uh, one key takeaway message is that with the electric powered cookers, you even cook in a smokeless kitchen. So it's something we need to embrace as women. In Kenya at this time, point in time, we are registering over 21,000 people dying prematurely every year. And majority of them are children under five, and women and therefore by the virtue of focusing on modern energy for cooking there is huge benefit beyond the efficiency because this one will transcend even to the health element whereby it will have a lot of benefits to, or to the consumers of this product. Uh, we link uh, the global MEX uh, program to the East African uh, processes in terms of the different stakeholders that are working in this uh, particular area in terms of uh, uh, convening uh, the policy uh, uh, platforms and the policy agenda uh, uh, for the initiative. But most importantly, we will be supporting research into the context because really uh, MEX is aiming at facilitating clean cooking uh, in this area based on what works uh, uh, for the context. Where people can see the world is changing enough that we can at least consider these things.
Yeah, we have challenges. Cooking is deeply cultural. We've mentioned that many times in the thing. There will be challenges about smoky flavor. Cooks have their way of cooking. Those things will be a challenge. I think things like the electric pressure cooker give us all sorts of opportunities um, to overcome those behavioral challenges. So what we are looking at uh, in this particular meeting is to basically have all stakeholders that are involved in the clean cooking arena to be part of the thinking of how best MEX can be designed in a way that takes into account the needs of uh, the people, uh, in a way that takes into account the needs of the policy makers, and in a way that takes into account the business opportunities that can be harnessed uh, for the success of the initiative. Thank you.